Welcome to this week's episode of Freebap News. I'm Jeff Hans, and this week we find out why old people hate it when you go in their driveway. I'm Rob Harford, and this week we find out the new meaning of $5 foot long. Dude. Dude, I'm trying to do the news. Vacations are fun, but the drive home can be dangerous, especially when you're traveling across multiple states and listening to a very annoying GPS, hoping to God that it doesn't drive you off a cliff. In 10 feet, turn right. God damn it. Make a U-turn. So fucking kidding me? Oscar Scott his wife and his five kids found this out the hard way. While driving home after vacationing in Kingsport, Tennessee, Scott found himself lost and on a narrow road. Without a way to turn around, he was forced to back his Chevy Tahoe into the nearest driveway. But little did he know, there was a no trespassing sign posted. During that split second turnaround, a 72 year old woman, later identified as Margie Ray Ramey, then opened fire on the unsuspecting trespassing family. Wait. So this old lady was just waiting for the right moment for someone to come along and turn around in her driveway so she could just shoot at them. Pretty much. Why the hell would anyone do that? I guess when you're 72 and live in the South, you gotta find something better to do than just wait and die. Okay, do they at least know why she did it? Apparently she had a problem with people tearing up her driveway. Needless to say, Ramey was arrested on several felony accounts of reckless endangerment. Let this be a lesson, kids. If you find yourself lost and in the South, just keep driving. Or learn how to drive in reverse. It's always heartwarming to hear a story of an ordinary citizen stepping up and doing his part. Everyday people becoming an unintentional hero. It's just good news all around. Like Joseph Michael Brennan of Florida. He assisted firefighters in putting out a blaze at a local library. Unfortunately, Michael was also the person who started the blaze in the first place. During a voluntary interview with police, Joe confessed to starting the fire and then went into detail as to how he hoped to help firefighters put it out. Joe caused nearly half a million dollars in damage with this stunt and is now being held on $3,000 bond. I mean, come on, it's Florida. Wait 10 minutes and some crazy shit's bound to happen. You don't have to go start another fire for no reason. I'm sure if he was patient enough, he could have stopped something really crazy. Like a poodle getting eaten by a giant alligator. Or maybe preventing a guy that's high on bath salts from eating somebody's face. Cats. They rule the internet, and they're plotting to kill us all. Phase one was the internet. Well, now some ambitious felines in France have banded together and started phase two, which it seems is attacking women who are walking their dogs. The 31-year-old woman was savagely attacked by a group of roaming cute kitties. Aww. An attack so vicious that the woman was transported to the hospital, and her poor little poodle was transported to a local animal clinic. French cats are no joke, man. One day you're gonna see them hold the Eiffel Tower for ransom. And their only demand is gonna be some milk in a saucer and some catnip. It's bad enough to have to worry about crazed lunatics wandering the streets, and gun-wielding murderers, and people who don't know how to use a turn signal when changing lanes. But now we have to watch out for packs of cats that might kill our dogs. It's like West Side Story if they replaced all of the cast members with cats. Nothing quenches your thirst quite like an ice-cold cola after a KFC two-piece and a biscuit. Of course, in the case of China, you should substitute your icy beverage for water from the toilet bowl. Do explain. Well, the rumors are true. Chinese central television has tested the waters, so to say. The amount of bacteria and ice used for soda at one KFC location was reportedly found to be 13 times higher than toilet water in a lab test. Time to push old Yeller out of the way because it looks like we're sharing the toilet. In China, your standard drinking water should have 100 colony forming units per millimeter. But a Chinese restaurant chain named Kung Fu registered nine times higher than tap water. The bacteria in the ice was not identified by CCTV, so there will be no further investigation. If you find yourself in China, splurge on the bottled waters. And if you can't do that, do yourself a favor. Dunk your head in the public crapper to rinse out the icy fungus. The water in China is a lot like the water in Mexico. Though while you may get diarrhea in Mexico, in China, much like the Oregon Trail, 
you'll probably die of dysentery. Sometimes you get dealt the wrong cards in life. And sometimes you have to work at a fast food restaurant to make ends meet. It's not glorious, but you gotta do what you gotta do. But luckily, there are ways that you can vent some of that frustration. Ian Jet raised the bar pretty high for all of those who hate their jobs. When he rubbed his schlong on a $5 foot long. How did anyone find out, you ask? Not only did he take a picture of himself doing the dirty deed, he posted it onto Instagram. What an idiot. There's more. He was not alone. Coworker Cameron Boggs tried to one-up the phallic footlong finagler by posting a picture of a bottle of frozen yellow liquid with the caption, Today at work, I froze my pee. This wasn't the first offense for the two rebel sandwich artists. Apparently, their fixation on anything shaped like a penis began by sculpting bread into the shape of, <laughs> you guessed it, the good old $5 footlong with a set of dangly bits. It's so veiny! Thankfully, an anonymous tipster reported the mishandling of the doughy dong-shaped deli meat holders to Subway itself, although they claim that these pictures were done in a joking manner and outside of work. Jet and Boggs were fired immediately. Congrats, guys. You just earned the first ever Free Bat Dumbass of the Week award. Try not to put your penis on it. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Free Bat News. If you've ever put your penis on pumpernickel, why don't you hit that like button down below? If you've ever had a horror story about anyone shooting at you for no good reason, put that in the comment section below. If you would like to warn the world about the dangers of random packs of roaming cats, please share this video. If from now on you're going to substitute your fast food ice for toilet water, come on over, subscribe, and watch the rest of our videos. <sighs> Uh, we're done recording for today. I don't want to be done. We're out of we stories. We have to be done. The scripts are over. But we're I want to say more penis jokes. We ran through like 12 penis. of those. We've said it like penis. 16. I like penis. We've done it so many times. Not penis, but per se. There are too many. I want to say We've penis. already done so many jokes. Penis. We... Penis. Thank you.